Um, I just want to demonstrate a little guitar multi effects pedal based on a Raspberry Pi Pico or RP2040 chip. But before showing off some sounds, I just want to give a little peek to inside what here you see the Raspberry Pi Pico and the custom audio codec board. Of course, some wiring that's needed and connectors display whatsoever. Just put this back together like so. And then we can start with a sound demo. So first start with a simple amp model. Good for kind of crunch sound. By the way, I'm recording straight into a mixing desk without any effects, reverb or whatever applied. Everything you hear comes straight from this little device. Change the sound to the neck pickup. Single coil. Unbucker. First one is a high cut, this knob, so the more I turn it up, the more bass response and gain I have. I turn it back. Sounds cleaner. Second one is a more or less classic gain control. Third one controls the amount of delay. Okay, on to the next one is a, another amp model. It's a lot more gain, as you heard previously. Some more settings, but it also has this high cut. Now I'm at the bridge humbucker. Okay, it has some more settings. I don't go through them in, in detail. You can switch the modulation type. Um, choose between the delay and the reverb. Reverb sounds like this. It's a simple algorithmic um, reverb. What else? It's very noisy. Obviously. Oh, yes, you can change the caps, cap emulation type. So custom cap, a model using finite and infinite impulse response filters. Just show you some, some others which came up not that well. But just to show show you that you can have different type of textures to the sound. Just Aliasing, which I have to get rid of. It's pretty much like radio, but it's not so bad. And you choose to check custom. Cup. On to the next effect. Um, this is something like a bit crusher. Great, can be quite nasty. This one is a compressor, is not so usable yet. Skip over this one. Then 
vibrator chorus based on a triangle wave. One of the first effects I've done. And then a sine chorus, which is a bit more sounds. She uses a sine wave as a modulator, sounds a bit cleaner. And also has some more parameters to set, for example, the offset. That means the minimum delay. The shorter it is, it sounds more like a phaser, and the longer it is, more like a chorus. And for feedback, you can also set to get a bit more depth. Okay, and then delay. Pretty clear what it does. Uh, by the way, um, there's some there's some bar graphs displayed first on the top line is the model the third bar graph is the cpu load the mean the more the more it is right the more the cpu gets used for so with a delay it's pretty there's a lot of processing power left of course but delay is one of the most uh, of the simplest effects and what do we have then we have the reverb <laughs> And then, of course, no effect. It's going to be a second video where I just um, show a slide set of the internals, and how I built, what. Well, just a little presentation, but with no talking and just some um, guitar playing with me over a backing track. And but there's also going to be a talk through version where I explain in some more details about the different parts and what is needed to build this device. Um, just it's fully open source, so the whole code and schematics and whatever is needed is um, as a link to a GitHub page, which is in the description of this video, as the YouTuber always says. And with this, I end this video. Thank you for watching and well, subscribing is not really necessary in my case. Bye.